Look at that guy. YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. This is by far the most realistic ghost hunting game out to date, and they keep adding new content week after week. This developer is absolutely crazy, and today we have another brand new update for you, which has added two brand new ghosts. Now, there's two new ghosts, obviously, to find in this update, but there's also several ghosts that we haven't even found to begin with, so there's a lot of stuff to explore, and if you've never seen this game, you are in for it treat the way this game tells its stories are really creative this is like a game that focuses all on why ghosts are haunting locations what is their story well how did they die why are they still there why didn't they move on and the way the game that tells this story is really really interesting the ghost will interact with its environment it'll tell you stuff through disembodied voices and i just can't get enough of this game and you guys also seem to uh, can't get enough of this game so i'm excited to just hop in check out the brand new ghost i hope you join us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go Aha, uh -huh, here we are. So let's see. First of all, if you've never seen this game, we got to do some research on the ghosts. If I can uh, get to my computer there. Oh, I would like to sit on my computer. Uh, the, 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 I can't, there we see. <laughs> it's a little difficult to sit at my computer, apparently. Uh, we're gonna look at if we have any new informations on these new ghosts. So you have this email system right here, and you get a little email about, uh, about a location so this is the let's see this is the church location mr conrad stevenson i'm writing to you from the congregational church on spruce street which uh let's see how many notes do we got in here yeah here we go new information uh i see the woman in right right here let's just read through it so you guys are up to speed again as you may have already known our church has developed quite a reputation for paranormal activity parish members have long recounted stories of spirits haunting the church and the surrounding grounds i myself have heard countless rumors of shadows and apparitions sighting apparition app Parishion sightings throughout the grounds, and I've seen candles and lights flicker on and off without manipulation. From what I have gathered, all accounts point to a sinister cast of spirits haunting our property. There have been rumors of a lost reverend, a pair of red eyes glaring from the shadows, an elusive woman in white who resides in the crypts, an apparition known only as Mr. Siegerstein, and an unholy cult in the woods and a resentful angel of the mausoleum. So every time I click on one of these, we collect a, a little note. Now, the amount of notes you have, you can have as maximum six notes. And uh, if you go into a location with certain notes on a ghost, that specific ghost will be a lot more active so you can collect more evidence. This game is designed in a way that you're meant to go back several times to collect more evidence on a ghost and figure out why they died, what their story is, which is just a really creative way of doing that. So I think also there's another note. Let's, let's continue reading this by by the way, uh, words of these hauntings has long tarnished our church's reputation, but I've decided to take it upon myself to rebuild our humble, holy image. I would like to welcome you to investigate our church and associated grounds to determine if these stories have any merit to them. Normally, I would never turn to a source outside of the church, but I've heard much about your work and you, th and I think you may be our best hope. We can ac accommodate an investigation almost any day of the week, but please come in secret after nightfall. I can't have our the parishioners knowing that the rumors may be true, if even if they really are. For obvious reasons, I would like to refrain from facilitating an investigation on Saturday night. Let us know your availability, and when we will, and then we will gladly facilitate any needed setup. I look forward to your response. With warm regards, Pastor Harold Rogers. So there's also some other information you can look at. You can go at the wiki right here, and you can look at the locations, which uh, in this case, so this game keeps getting updated. There, there's more and more stuff coming through. Right now, we got all this information. Now, I have basically studied this information. I'm not going to read through all of this. I'm going to tell you all of this as we are playing the game, because I still got it in my brain. Uh, but we do have this new location, which is down here, Legends of the Woods, which I think is the new, what does that note say? Legends of an entity in the woods. There is also mausoleum for the few, that's the groundskeeper. Oh, the North Cemetery, no, the North Cemetery is the Shadow Ghost. I think we're just gonna go in. I'm gonna like quickly figure out what notes I'm gonna go in with, and then we're just gonna meet you in the game itself, because this, this will take a little bit of setup. Give me a moment. Look at this beautiful map. I like that they actually, like, the way this map is laid out actually makes sense based off the stories they tell on, like, the wiki and in the emails and stuff like that. Uh, but we are gonna go 
do spruce tree look at all these ghosts now these are only the ghosts that we found and we still have barely found so look at that guy he's all shaky and we have still barely found everything we haven't even taken a photo of this ghost yet we have not uh investigated all the audio logs for this one we don't even have a photo of you and barely know anything about you so yeah there's a lot more to explore and there's also two or three new ghosts here that we haven't seen yet so let's head in there let's find them oh i'm gonna be lagging by the way while this is loading because it's always laggy Get ready to see me at 1 FPS. What an incredible opportunity to investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out, although I'm not sure oh, what he'll fixed. think if I find some evidence. <laughs> Regardless, Pastor Rogers was concerned enough about what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Alrighty, so what notes... Oh, I can't see anything. What notes have we taken? We are going to be investigating, obviously, the woman in white seen in the crypts. Now, besides that, there's a lot of stuff that we haven't found yet as well, which there is apparently a cult in the woods, which the police have found evidence on, uh, and we have not seen what that has... What, what the cult in the woods is. So I've taken some notes on the cult. I've taken two notes on the cult. So we're definitely going to look around in the woods, see if we can find anything and then we have also uh taken some notes on the angel in the mausoleum which is actually a ghost we have investigated in the past but i thought we'd take at least some notes on a ghost that we already know about so we have some legs to stand on we can start somewhere instead of just like mindlessly running around trying to find ghosts that could be literally everywhere because this is a very different ghost on a game than what you're used to what you're used to is that you go to a location a one like one building location like this church right here and and then this is where you're going to be investigating. You're going to be checking out the church and just like, and maybe like the close surroundings of the church. But nope, in this game, it is like, it's massive. There is so much to explore and every single location has its own ghost. Like over here, there is a lost reverend that walks around right here. There's a shadow ghost that passes between the graveyard over here and the church, which is uh, not going to be one we're investigating today, but it's a really creepy one. You can see it like walk around here here sometimes you definitely gotta have your uh uh night vision out for that one because it's really hard to see uh any other locations obviously there is also the uh siegerstein house right here which is the old groundskeeper house of the family that used to take care of the grounds until they were too expensive and got kicked out by the church and the family members that already died started haunting this place to try and get it back from the church to try and get the siegerstein family back on top now uh there's also this right here which is the mausoleum which is where we're going to be spending a lot of time today because that is where we're going to be investigating pierre which is probably my most favorite ghost in any ghost hunting game to date because of the story of this ghost which i've told it before but it's a really interesting story about an architect that uh oh you can also turn the light on here which i think i completely forgot about last time yeah it's a story about an architect who designed this uh particular mausoleum uh and meant for it to be a crypt where everyone could be buried however the city uh took the design of the of the of pierre who actually spoiler alert pierre is laying right here with his wife right here uh, he they took the the crypts and they uh, made it an elitist uh, burial ground where only the most prominent people of the city could be buried uh, which led to a lot of riots from or a lot of like resentment from the middle class and the lower class who also wanted to be buried here because even if you had the money to be buried in this place you couldn't be buried here because you had to be important you had to have connections with the politicians in the in the city which obviously made people very mad and the, the main part that I find so awesome is that so first of all obviously they started rioting they started getting mad uh, and destroying property then the the city set some guards uh, day and night to guard the place so the people couldn't uh like break stuff anymore so instead of breaking stuff they started putting candles all around uh this place uh, which obviously you can't stop people from placing candles in a in like a graveyard area because that's just the way people uh mourn however when these candles would burn out they would leave like hot wax all over personal belongings of the actual people buried here which was like a way to silently protest against uh the 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 exclusivity of this high of this hiding spot <laughs> of this uh burial ground however uh when pierre died so pierre tried to 
the like lobby for this becoming a more inclusive place but he failed so because he died very early on in a carriage accident and then uh, very uh, ironically he actually was the one who ended up being buried here together with his wife uh, but now he is haunting the place and continuing the quiet protest of the of the people uh, of the city by placing candles even after death, which I think is just a beautiful story. So we might see something about Pierre. Maybe we can have a little chat with him uh, or we can get some EMF evidence. I think that's because there's a breaker on the side. I think there's a generator at the edge of this building, I think. These EMF yeah. readings all right, appear to be right. normal. <laughs> Uh, so we, we just have to walk around here now. Obviously, this is not the only place we're going to be investigating today We're going to be doing a lot today uh, Such as checking out the area that I haven't really visited all that much in my playthroughs of this of this map Because there weren't any ghosts here previously, but now there is uh, there are two ghosts to find in this area Which one of them is the lady in white obviously very famous ghost a lot of different places have a um of a story about a lady in white. Wow, that's great audio evidence. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, crying. Hello there. I think we found our first little bit of evidence right there. I've obtained one piece of audio evidence that cannot be explained. Okay, then. Maybe we should investigate this area a bit, huh? That crying seems to come from from this area. I think it came from a, like pretty close I didn't want to move because I wanted to make sure that I could capture it uh, Okay, a little creepy right off the bat. So that might be the woman in white. I'm guessing it is uh, Which the other ghost is the woman in wild wi white White's child which we I don't think we can investigate that one yet because we first have to collect a note that's going to be hidden around here somewhere, but that note will only appear once we have enough evidence on the lady in white. I thought I saw someone over there, but I think that's just a statue. I think that's just a statue. Sounded like li laughing to me. That was definitely crying. Was that laughing? I'm pretty sure that was crying. Uh, so let's see. What kind of evidence can we get? We're going to be passing. Let's do one pass with the EMF. Uh, and then we'll do a pass with the with the thermo as well. And if we can't find anything, uh, we're gonna go back to Pierre to see if we can find any evidence right there. Hello there, ghost. Did I just love this game? So I actually don't know anything about the crypts, not much at least, because there haven't hasn't been a ghost here until now. Uh, I've basically done a tour guide of this place before if you want to watch other videos on this game uh, I've told all of the stories of every single ghost uh, in one in like the Recent video that I did, so if you want to watch more Con Receives as Paranormal PI, I'll link the playlist over on the top right. It is a wonderful game that, like, really focuses on the story of each of their ghosts, which I think is just a really clever way to distinguish yourself. It's like a, like a ghost hunting simulator. Instead of it being all about, like, I mean, there's still a lot of replayability, but instead of it being all about randomization and every ghost being completely unique, it is all about, um... Like, ha having each ghost have their, pers like, own personality that you have to, like, explore and figure out and find out why are they haunting this place? Uh, how did they die in the first place? Is there any reason why they have resentment or sadness or anger? Uh, which is just, like, super cool. A completely different way of playing. Which I have... And... So, with that being said, it sounds like every ghost can only be played once. This is actually one of my most played ghosts on the games. I've played this ghost, uh, I've played this game for 30 hours already, and there's still so much left to find. So, yeah, uh, it is definitely not like a quick game that you just play for like an hour and then you're done with it. There is a lot to like churn through here. Uh, but I saw something. I think the lady in white might have just started crying and then ran off. I think we're gonna do a quick pass through the forest on our way back to the mausoleum because there's also a cult in the forest that I would love to find some information about. It's very warm outside. It's definitely warmer than it is where I live right now because it's like minus two degrees outside right now. I heard in Canada today it's like minus 25 degrees. Hope you guys are still alive. Need some need some warm coats. Need a, need a nice blanket. I think I'm gonna hold my camera out because this shit's scary. scary. Lady said cry and buy. Uh, I don't know where this cult would be. There's a, a lot of paths through the forest, so it's easy to get lost. You can't, oh, I thought there was just a dead person laying there, but it's actually just wood. <clears throat> 
it was minus 40 the other day, you're good. That doesn't mean that minus 25 isn't horrible. Oh, where am I going? I think I'm making my way out of the forest again. Yeah, I'm uh, just walking in a circle, apparently. I'm bad at navigating when it's just trees. Canadian here. We are fine. All right. All right. You say it. Oh, oh it's a deer. <laughs> I don't think that's a ghost. I think we're okay. Over here. I also love the Seegerstein story. I already gave a little bit of a little bit of a prelude to that story that it was or like a summary of the story that it was a family that used to be the groundskeepers of the church and then they got evicted uh, because they were too expensive, which made all the previous people of the Seegerstein family that died there haunt the place, which that's a very unique ghost as well. You can see them walk around. And what I really like, so we're back, we're at the Seekerstein house right now. What I really like about the ghost is that they're not just like physical manifestations, but they can also share their stories in the form of audio, like giving disembodied voices, saying things that you like have to decipher. And then when you leave a mission, you have an audio player where you can play back every single audio log that you collected. So you can slow it down. You can, I don't know if you can speed it up. I think you can only slow it down. Uh, I would love for that to be expanded upon and that you can like reverse audio as well to see if there's any hidden notes in the in the bits of audio because I... <gasps> Incredible I captured a ghost on film hi there what the fuck dude Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? Did you say- I just, he said something in French right there. I mean, his name is Pierre. What else did I expect? Did I catch that? I did not catch that. We literally got a freaking ghost photo. The photographs taken during this investigation. Did you see what I mean, though? That's exactly what I was talking about. Is it shush? This- the way this game is designed is so cool. The ghosts are basically active everywhere at all times. So when you are just walking around, you could literally see a ghost pass in front of a window in the distance and it and it'll just be doing that. It'll just be chilling if you were closer to That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Yeah, I'll keep that as evidence. If you were closer to it, you could take a photo, but if you're far away, you can still get scared by it. I love how much restraint this game has. Like, it doesn't... It's like Mortuary Assistant. It's like the ghost hunting game equivalent of Mortuary Assistant. It came out before Mortuary Assistant, obviously. But it's like... What I really like about the Mortuary Assistant is that it's not afraid to let you miss its scares. Like, it is up to you to find things, see things, and get scared by them, which I think is actually such a strong fear factor, like the fear of the unknown, that there could literally be anything at all times around corners hiding from you. It's so cool. Like it, it, what also is really unique about this game is that you actually can die as of now. now there's gonna be a system in the near future. Oh, no, I think this is just normal. There's gonna be a system in, is it normal? Nothing paranormal yeah, about okay. these temperature readings. Uh, there's going to be a system in the near future where you can get knocked out by the ghost, which could lead to like a failure of your investigation or something like that. I don't know exactly the details of it. I think they're still working it out. Uh, where when the ghost is particularly angry, such as a demon ghost or something like that, uh, they could actually like do physical harm to you to really add a little. Incredible. I captured a ghost on film. Hey there, Pierre. Where are you going? I think it's Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. But Pierre is not a residual, right? Because he actually looks at me. He's like an intelligent. Is he gonna light candles? Do it. Oh, he's not doing it. I know he can though. We've seen it in the past. That guy is creepy. We're getting so much. Give me evidence. Give me some EMF. We'd love to stack up. A Who is that? Did get that. Let's go. It with uh, okay, so we're actually getting a lot, but we're not getting the EMF, which is like the easy evidence. How the fuck are we getting all the hard stuff, but not the easy stuff? This is the the generator on that side. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, how the the game is not afraid to like hide its scares from you and like only let you see a little bit of it, which I think is really clever. Um, and for a game that 
doesn't involve death, like you can't die in it right now. It is still so... Oh. What? Fuck. Wait, that was something for sure. Wait, what? There's... It's like super scary. Oh. Right here. Right here. Come on! These lights are acting funny. Nice. I should continue investigating. The EMF meter Beautiful. should not be this way. <laughs> we this got so much cool. evidence right there. Uh, can we get cold spots too? So I'm trying to get evidence, by the way, not because I just want to investigate this ghost, but I'm as far as I know, the more evidence you collect on any ghost will also boop up the activity of the other ghost. So if you can collect... Must be normal, right? Nothing paranormal yeah, yeah. about these temperature uh, readings. Now we could go t back to the crypts and we could actually get more activity there, which uh, is really nice. Now we can see something out there. I think that's a little bit... Uh, we we've seen a lot about Pierre now. Let's uh, try to get back to the crypts, see if we can find anything, and then also go back to the, to the forest as well. Now, what we're not investigating this time is the red-eyed ghost, which I haven't seen at all. I think the red-eyed ghost is supposed to walk around uh between the crypts and the forest it's like passing over the over the road there but i've just never seen it maddie thank you for the tech gift subs thank you yeah hello there is anyone here i really would like to see some cold temperatures really creepy man hello i've heard these are kind of like the the graveyards you see in, in Paris, New Orleans, or whatever people were talking about. Which I actually thought New Orleans was in the US, but I guess I'm stupid. I guess there's a I guess there's a regular Orleans, which is what the New Orleans is based on. But maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. I've been stupid before. Hello? Is anyone here? Good evening, Don Don. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? That's what I say. That's what I say every time. New Orleans is in the U.S. Oh. Oh, it's just regular Orleans, I see. <laughs> just regular Orleans. Hi there. I hear wind chimes. In Who put wind chimes on their grave? That's so creepy. Someone would be walking around. I mean, why would you really be walking around on a graveyard late at night? You can't go so far. Like, where's the edge of this map? Can I go all the way out here? Are they going to block me at some point? It's like truly open world. I can just go over here. I guess the forest will block me. Wait, what? How far can you go? I mean, there's not really any reason to be here, but it's crazy that you actually can get here. Yeah, it's just all... Oh, hello there. Kind of spooky. There's even graves here. I don't think the ghost is going to go over, over here. So the, the type of lady in white stories that I've mostly heard are like... People picking up a young girl that all dressed in white and then I mean at least the one in the very popular show Supernatural is like a lady that gets picked up by people who are unfaithful uh, because they're like picking up this young girl right with nefarious plans and then instead of getting it on they get fucking killed. <laughs> So that's kind of this type of stories that I've mostly heard like someone being picked up uh, Along like a white woman being picked up and then by the time you get to your destination The woman is nowhere to be found and she's just gone. Like She disappears from the back of your truck So I don't know. I don't know if that's like a, a canon story I think there's just like places around the world have their own stories, which I can't I'm not hearing anything right now I don't know if this goes still here. We could ask a few questions. We could just say is this your home? Is this your home? Also, I'm sure she killed her own children. Oh, yeah, in the Supernatural one. I forgot. It was like the first episode. It's been a while. I have not watched. I only watched like five episodes or something. I don't have enough time to watch stuff. Okay. Well, you're not talking to me. Can you tell, Can me, your you tell name? me your name? Hello? I mean, we could always go Can back to Pierre if we want some activity. Hey, questionnaire wolf, what's up? Ding dong. Hello? 75 years later, woman still looking for her son. By Marty Jennedy, new special writer. New Eidolon, not much is known about the life of local deceased woman, Alice Williams, except her tragic end. 
Elise was married to a verbally abusive man who often tormented her. According to her friends, the abuse transformed her into a very frail shell of a person. Seeking the love she so desperately yearned for, Alice eventually met another gentleman while she, while she was married. According to Alice's found diaries, uh, or ent diary entries, this man wooed her with his appreciation of her wit, humor, and intelligence. Secretly finding true love, Alice then became pregnant by him. In her diary, Alice devised a plan to ensure her husband would never find out and believe this child to be his own. One day, seven years later, neighbors reported hearing a violent argument from the Williams' home. Tired of her husband's constant verbal barrage, or barrage, she let her secret slip out of blind spite. In a fit of rage, he murdered both Alice and her defenseless son. Alice's husband and dragged her body to decay within a vacant crypt on the local church grounds and disposed of the boy in the Mill River. After proudly confessing to this crime, he was convicted and executed via electric chair within the state penitentiary. According to the locals, Alice's spirit still walks the hallowed grounds of the church on Spruce Street in search of her child. One such local provided us with the image on the left, allegedly of Alice's desperate apparition. Whoa, well, hello there. I think we just found a very important note on the lady in white. I, so, and it also tells us about the the son of the lady in white, which is the other ghost that we can apparently find here. So that's very interesting. Honestly, so the, the way this game works is that you're meant to do multiple investigations. So all we've really heard about the lady in white is the crying. What I think we're going to do now is we're going to head out. We've basically done a full investigation. The only thing we don't have is the temperature data, which is, uh, I mean, we could get a little bit of temperature from Pierre uh, easily. And then we could get out and fill in that note as one of our six notes and then come back. Wait, before we do that, though, actually, let's go back into the forest and see if with all this added activity, we can also find something about the cult. I would love to find something about that. Um, look for the location on the photo. I, I didn't look closely enough to... And we can look at it again uh, when we leave the map. We can look if we can find anything. All right, so let's do a pass through the forest. See if we can find any candles or creepy stuff or the entity in the woods, right? We also have some notes on that one. We haven't seen that yet, unless it was that deer. Which I don't think that was a ghost. That's, I mean, otherwise, it's kind of a great camouflage. Just make yourself look like an animal. Listen to the noises. Beautiful forest sounds. Hello? I got dead end out here. Anyone? Let's let's quickly try and do some uh, EVPs here. How many people are How here? How many people are here? This map is crazy good. I don't think the deer was the ghost. No, I doubt it. <laughs> How many people are here other than me? One more question. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? No wind chimes in the forest. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Look for the bones on the ground? There are bones? There are bones on the ground? Hi there. I mean, that would that would make sense because they were talking about a cult. I wonder what the cult looks like. Like, is there going to be actually people? Just like sitting around a camp a fire or something like that and that would be creepy imagine later on in the development of this game you can get like you can get freaking abducted by the cult and it can be like a side mission that'd be sick <laughs> and you have to exercise your way out <laughs> that'd actually be so cool you become oh hi there i don't think that's yeah it doesn't count as a ghost photo Hello? That'd be, cool. That'd be awesome. Because ultimately, what I think... I would love to see for this game, and I think that's where we're going towards, is this game becoming slowly like a true open-world ghost hunting game where you have like a, your own house where you can like 
where you have a car and you can drive away to different locations to like explore the city that'd be so crazy like a thief simulator like experience if you've ever played thief simulator i kind of compare it to that because i think thief simulator would fit so well into the like a, a ghost hunting thief simulator style would be like a freaking smash hit in my opinion like that ghost gta that'd be crazy uh so quickly let's see if uh, pierre is doing anything right now if he lit any candles for us before we head out of here hello here oh that's just a cold from going in the house there's some awful wait just a light all right, I'm not seeing any cold temperatures, so I think Pierre's calming down a little bit. So what I think we're gonna do is head out, add that new note oh, to our repertoire, uh, and then we're gonna investigate the. Oh, never mind. Looks like just a cold spot. Yeah, you're totally paranormal. wrong. Look at this. It's extremely cold here. Hmm, <laughs> these temp readings are unusual. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, get more. Fill it out, baby. Something. Is and just like here. that, we These have gotten everything you can get. So we normal. should be able to get a uh, golden trophy now, which eventually you can use these golden trophies to buy new equipment. And I think they're actually adding the new equipment like very soon. Um, I heard the dev is just like crazy. I don't know how they add so much content so fast. It's nuts. Uh, but I love to. I love to see it as someone who actively enjoys playing this game so much. Uh, so let's head out. Read the notes. Uh, on the computer and then go back in with the new information to see if we can find the child ghost uh, Let's see it Like that and there you go another golden trophy for my collection beautiful <laughs> I love that you can combine different evidence for evidences from different ghosts that that really smooths that smooths out the play experience All right, so we got a new note for our archive, uh, which is this one right here Bode, I don't think we saw this looks like something like a building. We, there were no buildings, so maybe this is just a different photo. But now we can add that to our notes. Alice is the woman in white. And we have the previous note note on the woman in white from the email uh, right here. So now instead of having one note, we have two notes. Oh, come on, can I click on it, please? Uh, which means that we're basically going to get double the activity from the ghost now because every note adds a ton to the to the activity so i think instead of going back to, to the mausoleum ghost let's now instead of that we're going to focus on alice again but we're also going to get some notes on mr siegerstein so i can show you a different type of ghost as well we're just gonna uh also add the cult obviously because i want to see the cult again so let's do mr siegerstein the cult in the woods and alice again i really want to find the cult but it's really hard to find apparently all right, so we made it back, uh, and this time we got two. We are investigating three ghosts. We got two notes on the lady in white. We got two notes on the cult, and we got two notes on Mr. Siegerstein. So I think we're gonna do that uh, every time. We're gonna go back. Uh, we're gonna have two notes on a ghost that we already know, so we we can get some extra activity, and then we can uh, pivot from that ghost that we know into a new ghost with already some built-up activity. I think that's a clever way to play this game because it can take a while for you to get any evidence on a new ghost before you know what the ghost, like what area the ghost is active in. It can take a while. So this right here, as I talked about, is the Seagerstein family. So we're going to get some, get some activity right over here. Uh, I, I, we could already start with the lady in white as well but i think i'm gonna quickly check out this area first see if we can find anything i can't believe last time we basically started with a ghost photo right away i'm gonna turn on some lights because i just like to do that love the lights in this game a very pretty game i'm looking for weed thank you for the two months all right let's have a little chat with you huh is this a, i don't know if this is a residual i actually have no idea if mr shiger is mr shiger a residual I'm, I'm not sure i don't think so I think they can talk to you. Do you know why I'm here? Okay, you don't want to talk to me? I think, I think I've had audio responses. So there's four different types of ghosts in this game. There is the poltergeist, which is just the throwy ghost, which is like the, the ghost that this, I think they have the least poltergeists. There's only like two of them, uh, which are always on the small maps. Then you have uh, a residual, which is a ghost that doesn't interact with its environment like it doesn't interact with you nor lights uh and then you have an intelligent 
which is a ghost that kind of plays with you. It like interacts with its, in its environment. It'll turn on and off lights and stuff like that. Uh, and then the last one, the evil ghost, is the demon who can both interact with its environment and also like do the closest thing to like killing you uh, in the game right now, which is where they like do a ghost event where they chase you down no matter where you go and they like grab you and then they disappear, <laughs> which is really cool. It's really, really cool. Uh, scares the absolute living shit out of me. Hello, can you give us a sign? Any cold spots, maybe? Let's change that back. This is such a comfy game. It's like... I can't wait, man. Imagine this game in a few years when it's like... I really hope they're going in that direction because eventually you can... You have made such... Oh, wait, we got it? It's right here? Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Let's go. Mr. Siegerstein is here. He's walking around. Awkward. Oh, the last reading. There it is. Something is going Let's on. Let's go. Here. Okay, can These we get temperature some? temperature readings are We can also get terrible. EMF. This is perfect. This is how it's supposed to go. We get both EMF and temperature from a different place, These and then we pivot that funny. into the crypts. I should continue investigating. That's beautiful. Because this ghost, I know what I'm doing, right? Because I've, I've investigated this ghost be before. This beautiful. This is paranormal. All right, and just like that. We got uh, four little bits of evidence, which means we got like four boops in activity. Uh, but as I was saying, I really hope that's where they're going since they're like building this like super laid out map, eventually stitching all these different maps together and building like an actual open world style game where you can travel on your own at your own will. Because what I really would like this future for the game to be is if like you actually have to do research, like you have to know what you're doing. You can't just... Which is kind of already what it is right now. Like, you have to know what you're doing before going into a map. Otherwise, the ghosts are not going to be active. You have to, like, investigate them properly. But imagine you could just run... You could just drive around and, like, go into a house. I guess you have to get a permission to go into a house. But... Or you could go to, like, a forest somewhere. And then you could just, like, investigate that area. And if you get lucky, there could, like, actually be a ghost there. Or if you've investigated it before, you actually know that there's a ghost there. Like, stuff like that. It would be so cool. You just drive out. Because that's kind of what people always ask me. When are you going to do real-life ghost hunts? Well, it... Oh, I thought that was a ghost, but it's just a freaking tree. That's kind of what this game could be like. Like, the closest simulation to that. Where you just... Drive off into a forest and, like, freaking, uh, <laughs> freaking do your own investigation. Just, like, impromptu investigation of a forest somewhere. Dude, that's sick. Hello? Oh, hi there. Stay to the left if you can. Oh, there's actually... Oh, what the fuck? Wait, I've been told there's actually bones you can find? I thought that was just a joke. Wait, there's bones? Hello? I'm scared. There's bones in the forest to find? Hello there. Stay to the left. I mean, I'm, I think I'm staying. This is the left most area you can go to. <gasps> bones! Wait. What the hell? Aha! Wait a minute! Is this what a cult is? Uh oh. Uh oh! Hello? Um. I think we found it. I think we found the cult. Wait, what the fuck? That's sick. <laughs> there is. Is there more? What the? I heard a sound. Am I going to get kidnapped? Am I going to be the next sacrifice now? What the hell? This is awesome. There's, there's a pile of bones here. I can't take a photo of this. I'm trying to. It doesn't count as a photo. Is there any pair? Oh, there's definitely paranormal activity here. What the fuck? It's ice cold here? Let's try to talk. Wait, this is sick. Do you know why I'm here? In Max's dev, I know, I know, I know. Do you know why I'm here? This is awesome. I have never seen this before. I've never gone to this area of the forest. Can you tell me your name? Awesome. 
Can you tell me your name? Talk to me. Do it. Do it! I would love a photo of whatever is haunted. I mean, this is a cult, right? It doesn't have to be a ghost as well. But it seems like there is something here. Because we had some EMF just here. I mean, obviously, if there's some cult active and it's like sacrificing people, there's bound to be some ghosts. So yeah, you got to find the bones. And that's... That's like... Oh, that's where you got to go into the forest to find this. Which, I, it might have been here this whole time. I'm not sure. Uh, is this your home? Is this your home? Oh, are they gonna be candles? Oh, home? there's a note! Uh, we're gonna wow. have to turn that up the volume like for that one when we leave the mission. very interesting. Okay, and there's a note right here. What is this? This item is a valuable piece of information. Wait, what? It's a freaking satanic symbol? We definitely found something. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, we found something on the cult this time. Beautiful. Is gonna be anything else? I really want to fill in that note and see if we can find something. And then I want to just explore mostly this now. I have, ch I have switched my interests. I want to see what this ghost is. Because I didn't even know that this was real. I thought this was like just something that was related to the demon, but it's actually an o its own ghost. Which, how many freaking ghosts are there on this map? There's like seven different ghosts or something. That's crazy. Uh, can you give us a sign? Hello? Because we got a bunch of notes on. We actually got like four notes total now on the cult. So we could like completely buff up the cult ghost. And then see if what kind of crazy stuff can happen in the forest right here. That's awesome. I kind of want to do that. They got so many notes on that ghost. We could just fill in the lady in white and add all of the notes to the, to the cult ghost. And then investigate again. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's head back here with our newfound knowledge. Um, and investigate the cult. Right, get me out of here. Let's just go over to the, the cult. Alrighty, so uh, we're back here. We got the added note, which was the the cult tried to summon a demon. And then I got a little nudge from the devs that, that I should also try to add the legends of an entity in the woods. So we're going full cult right now. Full cult plus lady in white. So we really want to investigate this demon that's out here in the forest that the, uh, <laughs> that the cult tried to summon. So let's first find the bones again. Because that seemed to be, like, the hot spot of activity. Which I think I can find it pretty quick right now. Because uh, it's this way. And then it is... Instead of going into the open area, which I usually do... Wait, am I already at the wrong place? Oh, hi there. Uh, instead of going... I think I'm already in the wrong place. I think I missed the exit. Unless... No, this way! Yes! You gotta go down here. And then check out this place. Okay, so we're back at the cult. Now, can you give us any evidence? Anything here? They tried to freaking summon a demon. Did they succeed, though? We have not seen the demon yet. Which the demon looks absolutely... I, I've seen, like, the dev showed me a photo of it. Looks absolutely crazy. I guess the... Oh, wait. Ha! Huh. Found it? Hmm. These temporary oh, are unusual. You missed the cult of Misty. That was so fun. Going on here. Can we also get this? These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Okay, well, we already got two pieces of evidence. No, uh, no EMF yet. We have four notes. There's no way it shouldn't become crazy active right now. Four notes on one ghost, which I think was the maximum notes. We, like, we had all... The this is all the notes we have right now on this ghost, so there's nothing more to find. At least for now. Unless we can find something else. But for that... So you can't just walk into a map and then get a note and walk out. You have to collect notes after you get evidence. Ooh, that is What the fuck evidence. was that, man? Nick, thank you for the nine months, and Kaboucher, thank you for the prime. Oh, that was creepy. That sounded far away, though. Hello? 
I don't think it has to be in this area, but obviously there's got to be something here. Look at this place. First. I could go into the larger open area as well. Maybe back here. This is- <gasps> What the fuck is that? What? What was that? Wait. That was not an animal. That was fucking fire in the forest. Hello? Where'd it go? Oh my god! <laughs> What? What was- I swear I saw something on the cam. It was gone in a second. What? Did you see that shit? That was crazy. Wait, what? Am I- Is there a dead body here? Wait, am I be- Am I being- The flies are following me? What? What the hell was that? It disappeared. Wait, that was crazy? <laughs> Excuse me? I am freaking lost for words. What the heck was that? What did we saw? <laughs> I don't- I didn't get long enough of a look to really make like a mental image of what we saw. It was just like, uh... I saw like, like a six pack, but like a... Like a goat skull? <laughs> what the fuck? That was incredible. I could have just easily missed that. If I didn't have this out, I would have totally missed that interaction. Any Anything that, in that like left behind some EMF readings? Like, come on, it was a full-on ghost apparition. I wasn't fast enough on the trigger of the photo because I was just a little too scared. But that was the tr Do we need to see that again? Frickin' Skinwalker. I don't even know why I'm asking that is question. Is this your home? Is this your home? Like, what are these questions? Is this your home? Uh, wow. That sounded like a response. That did. did that is very is this your home question? Get an answer? Okay. Is there anything you'd Let's like to go. tell me? I want to see it again. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Talk to me. Oh yeah, it seems to be active not just in that little cult area. Why, Why are, are you, you here? here? Fear box does look like a Why TV remote, here? kind of. He's looking at me from the trees right now. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Very quiet. We need to go. Wow, up. that sounded like We need like to like response. turn that up in the. That very interesting. In the office, we need to like turn those up. But we actually are getting audio evidence. Look at that. We got temperature readings from here, and we got some uh, out an outstanding amount of audio evidence. All we need is EMF and obviously a ghost photo, but that will be that's a tough one. I mean, let's walk around maybe with the night vision. We could see it somewhere, because it was sneaky. It was just like right there. I just turned around, it was right behind me, disappeared immediately. That's terrifying. Hello? You're a piece of garbage. Oh, here we go! Yes. Wait, no. Come back. There we go! Come back! Yes. 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 What's going in the trees? No! Where are you going? Come back here! Oh, we almost got it. I don't know where I am, man. I'm just walking around in fucking foliage. Oh, you're so close. I think it, I think it got lost in the trees. Okay, but we are almost at the first EMF. So we just need to keep looking. Oh, hello. Where am I? I'm lost. What the fuck was that? Excuse me. Hello? Where the heck am I and what is going on? That was creepy. I'm so lost right now. Hello? Oh, there's the animal again. What? <laughs> what the hell was that animation? Did you see that? Okay, this is where the crypts are. The hunt started. 
You almost did it. I think this ghost is really hard to investigate because of the, like, the winding path environment. I think it is this way. Imagine it's just gonna show up right in front of us. I'm gonna say, hello. Me, ghost. Get scared now. I thought I saw some light in the trees right there. Hello? You see that? Very sneaky. It's just like actually hiding in the trees. Or is it here? What the fuck was that? What is happening? Did you hear that? What it was that? Excuse me. I didn't get a recording. Whenever Conrad is quiet after something creepy happens, it makes me so much more scared. I hate it. It's like it didn't happen and it's all in my head. What the frick, man? I wonder what those flies were. Did you see? Because there's no flies here anymore. But they were- they showed up when the- when we saw the jump scare from the guy. Well, not a jump scare. He didn't make a noise, but... Oh! What the fuck? Wow. I'm not sure what's more impressive. I took the photo, or I'm going to survive this. What? 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 Oh my god! Holy shit. That was crazy. Wait, is there? Dude. Look at that guy. That guy is cool. What? That's incredible. What? What a model. What? That's that's. I'm out of words. What? That is the coolest model out of any of the ghosts in this game. That's insane. I can't believe that. We got the photo. We just need EMF. That's all we're missing. We. What an investigation. So that is the ghost that the cold summoned. I wonder what the air ball is. Cause because last investigation we all or not, not last investigation but. Uh, in a previous episode, we also investigated the forest a lot, and all we saw was, like, a little ball of light passing through, and we never- <gasps> There it is. Wait. You see the blue? Oh, it's- it's back again. What the hell? Wow. I'm not sure what's more impressive. I took the photo, or I'm going to survive this. Hello. Hello there. You look imp- you are years ago. Me, MF. This is what I'm talking about, dude. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. It's uh, you're. It's just quiet for like freaking forty minutes, and then all of a sudden, it just goes buck wild. You like never know what you're about to see in this game. Yeah, I tried EMF on the ghost, but it didn't do anything. Maybe I should just walk into it and. Should just be con- be fearless like Conrad, walk into the ghost and just start prodding for EMF. We could do that. Next- next time we see him. I'll just walk up to him and be like, hey, you got any EMF for me? Any EMF? Oh, there he is! Any EMF? Sir? Oh, I need you to- I need you to not go into forest, please. I need you to be out of the forest so I can actually get the EMF. There he is. Yes? Hello. That's crazy. You got EMF for me? Oh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's sick. That's crazy. So yeah, they don't give EMF. <laughs> what? That's three 
freaking manifestations. Back to back to back. What in the heck, man? So no EMF from that? I think... I mean, I don't think you get a golden trophy if you do that, but... Come on now, game. Did you see the freaking ghost? We got so many ghost photos. That's gotta be it. Ooh, that oh, is eerie. That actually did work, because last time I think we took that as audio evidence and it never counted it. It was like... It just said, like, uh, it, like Conrad didn't respond to it. Oni, thank you for the tier two five months. That's incredible. Okay, where... Where could we get the EMF? I mean, at this point, I already feel accomplished. Even if we don't get the EMF. That's crazy. That's a tall monster. The cult did a great job. You summoned a monster. Are you happy now? You happy? Did you guys all die? Imagine you find, like, a dead cultist somewhere. I wonder if there's more notes on this guy. I think I've seen candles as well, though. I've seen, like, a photo of candles on these. But they're not candles now. So maybe that's another ghost event you can get. Yeah, the ghost looks very cool. Is he there again? Go out there. We could quickly go to the lady in white. Oh, there he is. Okay. Wow. I'm not sure what's more impressive. I took the photo or I'm going to survive this. So quiet. Man, the way it, like, breathes the blue smoke. That's very cool. I wonder why the game is, like, why it became so active all of a sudden. This is very interesting. I still don't quite know how this game works. That is crazy. There's a screenshot right there. All right. Here we go. Walk up to the ghost. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't give any EMF. <laughs> yeah, that, that, there I feel like I should be, like, killed or something. Like, you should be able to, like, you should be incentivized to run away from it instead of, like, going towards it. And there actually be some kind of punishment for going to it. Also, Tipsy, thank you for the tier 2 5 gift subs. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go to the, let's go to the lady in white. This is absolutely nuts. Uh, you went crazy. Beautiful ghost. Let's see if, if this also means... That the lady in white is now a lot more active because this is just back to back manifestations. Maybe the same will happen. That's not where I want to go. Maybe the same will happen with the lady in white. These EMF readings appear to be normal. I know, I know. I just wanted to hear you say it. I wanted to hear you say it, Conrad. You're like the freaking guy from the supernatural TV show. That's extraordinary I got it. audio evidence. What? Was that mommy? Is that the child? Who is that? I'm what was that? Yes, I talked over it. We need to listen to that when we get back to the office. What the hell? That's creepy. Hello? Get max EMF temps from anywhere. Those two evidence are generalized. Yeah, I, I do know. I know that, but we've tried to get them from the forest. I guess we could about, go back to the forest. But we tried to get it for like 20 minutes and we couldn't get him. But I guess we could go back there. That's why I think it's best to do like an e. You kind the way this game is designed, you kind of have to get an easy ghost. You have to do like Mr. Siegerstein or not just the mausoleum ghost is like kind of the easiest one. So you kind of want to have the mausoleum ghost and then pivot into another ghost. All right, so let's try and get the EMF from the forest. We, we tried looking around uh, for a very long time if we could see the lady, but it, she didn't show up. So let's try. All right, what we could also do is just leave. And then go, do an easier ghost and try to just focus on the lady in white instead. Because we obviously saw the demon. It was very, also, I have no flashes anymore. Give me the EMF. Where the fuck would I get it? You hear that? Sound like a goat? I guess we could just. Ooh! What? 
What the hell was that? Hi, boss. Excuse me. I was just trying to get EMF out here. What are you doing? <laughs> That's what we saw in the previous episode. That's what I was talking about. The eyes. What the? F also, it's the the goat is screaming. What the hell? Just floaty eyes. I mean, it's a lot more peaceful than the entire demon showing up. Don't know if we're ever gonna get EMF. I mean, I'm fine. Just we're not gonna get a golden trophy, but I'm honestly fine with that. So I really want to see the lady in white. So what I think we're gonna do is obviously this quest was incredible. We just saw the demon like walk around a ton we tried being at the lady in white for a while but it, she just didn't want to show up so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an easy ghost such as pierre get some evidence from pierre and then pivot into the lady in white and just stay there so we have the emf and the temperature uh, because those apply to every single ghost i think that's what we should do and we should also listen to some of the audio logs while we're in the office because we we got a few creepy ones Let's, uh, let's get back there. But this is not going to be a perfect game, right? It's not going to be a golden trophy because we didn't get the EMF. Even though we got the freaking ghost photo. Oh, let's see. It's going to be silver. Silver trophy? Yeah, silver trophy because we didn't get the EMF. But we really tried our absolute best to get EMF. So, yeah. Uh, it's just certain ghosts. I do feel like they kind of should work a little bit on that. Where... The pivot strategy feels a little cheesy where you have to like get evidence on a different ghost and then go to another ghost instead of you just being able to investigate. Like if I wanted to, I physically couldn't investigate the lady in white. Like I have to start somewhere else first and then pivot to the lady in white. Like I can't just focus on the one ghost that I want to investigate. You have to do two at the same time. There's no other way to play the game. So that's kind of a, it's just a little restrictive for the player right now, but it's fine. So we're going to add the, the woman in white. That's what we want to investigate. Uh, and then we're gonna add the mausoleum ghost back because the mausoleum ghost I'm like a professional at that one. We can easily figure that one out uh, But before we do any of that, let's see what kind of audio because we had some audio that we couldn't really hear from the lady in white Let's see woman in white here I think that's crying that's not laughing That is crying That's also crying. It's kind of both. <laughs> oh, wait, that's it? Okay, so we got just two different forms of crying. I thought that... Oh, yeah, but we didn't capture... Wait, I thought we captured something when the lady said, like, a word. But I guess it wasn't the lady. All right. And then we have the demon. The went to Koa. That's nothing. That was like a freaking Harry Potter spell. A fucking goat. Different goats. <laughs> Out of way. Is he saying something about a Gorio? <laughs> I can show you men. <laughs> that's just like demon shit. All right, and that's like a different ghost. Okay, so let's let's fill in our notes and then head back in there. So we're gonna. The plan now is we want to see the lady in white. So we've seen the demon in the forest, which was very cool. But I really want to see the lady in white. So we're going to focus on uh, the mausoleum ghost, get some evidence there, and then pivot to the pivot to the, the, the lady in white. So we have a lot more activity going. All right, come on. Give me some. Oh, oh, that's... Why is it here, though? I don't understand. Is it the candle? These temperature fluctuations... Wait, there were no... Annoying. Wait, the candles were added... Because last time we saw candles here, but now there's no candles. I thought those were always there, but no. So Siegerstein actually put candles on his own grave? He's protesting against his own grave. Interesting. Wait, there's a note! 
What? Lefebvre Mausoleum? This uh, is a valuable piece of item. I didn't see this. Sniff... Sniffy bigots? Uh, can I read this? A beautiful burial place. Lefebvre Mausoleum. Upon... Sit... Wait... Sectarian offers the following benefits as a family burial place. A new modern way of burial. No up upkeep with perpetual care. Conveniently situated and accessible from Spruce Street. Prices are applicable to those who seek the most memorable decorative plots. Sniffy bigots. So that is another note. For Le Fabre. I kind of want to just fill that one in immediately. So that's another note for Pierre uh, showing the people being very mad. Well, I mean, I'm just going to fill that in immediately uh, and have one additional note on Pierre so we can get evidence even faster. Let's do it. Alrighty. Pierre, I'm back and I got extra evidence for you this time. I got freaking four notes on you. Pierre died abruptly. He has a reason to stay. Uh... The angel in the mausoleum, and some did not like what he did here, obviously, because uh, it was such an exclusive burial ground. Let's see. I've never had this many notes on one ghost, so let's see how much of a difference it makes. Does it really make the ghost go crazy? Yeah, it's just going to be completely nuts now. It's going to be all over us. And we only have like four audio logs for this ghost, so there's... Or no, only like... Like, very few. We can still get a, a lot of evidence here to figure out more of Pierre's story. Even the, oh, oh, that's the, the breaker outside. Got ghost orbs. Uh, I don't want to collect this, right? Because I want to collect audio of the lady in white. Because this is just audio. I think I'm going to not do any... Oh. I don't want to do audio for a ghost that I don't want to take photos of. We want to take photos of the lady in white. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Is she busy? Alrighty. Okay, this does seem to help. Wait, where did you go? Hey. Come back here. That's not right. Okay, we need it to appear again. See how hard that is? You just have to be in that specific area to get EMF. Like, imagine this in the woods. Like, you just have to be in a specific area at the time that the EMF shows up. And then you gotta follow it. I feel like for specific ghosts... Oh. Nice. I can just follow the footsteps. Oh, come on. It's already gone. Oh, more. These lights are acting funny. Yes. I should continue investigating. Me. EMF all right. All the EMF. Now we way. need this. This is paranormal. Okay. This is going so much faster than I thought it would. We're going to be able to go to the lady in white in no time. Hmm. These temp readings are unusual. They are truly unusual. Something is going on here. Alrighty, These and just like that, we have paranormal. both temperature and both EMF. So that was the plan. We thank you, Pierre. You've been a great. You've, you've been very helpful. That was like five minutes. We got both the temperature readings and the EMF. Now we can go investigate the lady in white with a huge buff to activity, because it seems, at least from our experience, we were here for like literally an hour total. We have been around here, and the only evidence we got was like four audio pieces of evidence. So getting EMF here is incredibly difficult. So thank you, Pierre. Uh, your sacrifice has been appreciated. Now we can see if we can actually get a ghost photo of the lady in white. That'd be amazing. And some audio as well. Still don't know where exactly the ghost likes to be most active. We're just going to walk around everywhere. Hello, ghost. Yeah, Pierre, thank you. Alrighty, I think we're gonna call it here. So, uh, a little information for our YouTube viewers, unless it happens now, in which case it would be crazy. Uh, we've been standing here uh, for, like, almost an hour at this point, and nothing has happened. And we didn't just sit here and, like, pray that something would happen. No, we collected every single evidence from another ghost. So we have a full investigation that we completed on Pierre... Uh, which, according to the developers, when you collect evidence, even if it's for another ghost, it greatly buffs the activity you get from a, from 
from the other ghosts as well. And the notes we have, by the way, are all the notes we have currently on the Lady in White. So we literally are here with the maximum buff you could possibly have. And in this hour almost that we've been standing here, we haven't heard a single audio log. We haven't seen a single ghost event. We haven't had any EMF, any temperature reading. So I'm inclined to say this ghost right now is almost uninvestigatable. You can't really get anything. So I would recommend when you play this game, you'd stick currently to the uh, demon ghost instead. Let that be your... I mean, obviously, there's so many ghosts to find here. I would highly recommend checking out the demon ghost because that was an incredible experience. What I think I would recommend is getting Pierre because Pierre is the, is the mausoleum ghost. This is like the easiest ghost to investigate on this map. Getting like EMF and temperature off of Pierre and... the hell you see pierre pierre's going crazy in here he's freaking creepy man uh he immediately whispers as soon as we walk in so then and then going to the forest and like ch investigating the bone area and seeing what you can get from the demon because that was incredible still like i can't wait and uh, so we have also talked to the devs what they're gonna do about this they're gonna add new items to the game uh, that are going to allow you to interact with the ghost. So it's not as passive anymore. So it's not just you having to wait for the ghost to do something. No, instead you can actually actively uh, get stuff out of the ghost. Which I think is a great idea for the player to get some more agency. Because right there, I was I felt really helpless. Like we were standing there. We were walking around. We were trying our absolute best. At one point, we heard footsteps for like a second. We went there and we didn't see anything, so I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that was a new update for Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. The Phasmo update, as you know, is already happening. Uh, it's happening for us tomorrow, but for you, it's already happened. Uh, so obviously, that's going to take some of my attention away. And But we will come back to Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI very soon because there is still so much stuff to find. There are many ghosts that we haven't seen yet, and I am very excited to hop back in and do another ghost investigation. So let me know. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join the server at twitch.tv slash insim every single day at 7 p.m. Century UP and Thank you very much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, guys.